You got to be careful if you're headed out this morning. The rain could make for that messy morning commute, and we're already seeing some trees down in some areas. In fact, we got a call from a viewer about a big tree down in Brooklyn. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin joins us live from Flatbush right now. So, Tom, what is it like where you are right now? Well, you know what? It is really coming down out here, Mike, and that viewer was absolutely correct. We do have a big tree down on a car here in the uh, Midwood Flatbush section of Brooklyn. Let me get out of the way and let you take a look. We're not seeing a ton of this right now, but uh, that is what they'll be waking up to on this street this morning. A uh, big old pine tree down on that car. Not a ton of reports of trees down, lines down at this point. But I can tell you something you do have to keep an eye out for. As Brittany mentioned, up to six inches of rain uh, into tomorrow morning. And Heather touched on this as well. Ponding on roadways. We're seeing a lot of that as we make our way around the city this morning. Saw quite a bit of ponding on our way out here. The hydroplaning risk is very, very real. Something to keep in mind as you make your way into work this morning. If you have an option to work from home today, that's an option you just might want to exercise because it's uh, going to be a truly miserable day as we see these bands on uh, our radar continuing to sweep through the tri-state area. We were in a bit of a lull in the rain out here uh, a short time ago, but it's it back in a big way and uh, accumulating. The ground already saturated. Folks in basement apartments need to be really, really cognizant of that, as we all know, and ready to move to higher ground if need be. Some other safety tips to keep in mind uh, as we deal with severe weather across the New York City metro area this morning and into tomorrow. Uh, watching out for down power lines, assuming that any line you see down is live and staying well away. Of course, we'll keep you up to date on reports of down lines right here. Also, uh, make sure that your alternate power supplies are ready. Your flashlights have batteries, etc., and your carbon monoxide detectors have their batteries in place.